Let's go. Jedi. Why did you activate the array? It's been many years since I last took the life of a Jedi. Why did you activate the I heard you. Long ago, Dagon bested me in combat. Earned my loyalty. We fought side by side. Until the Jedi betrayed him. It took many of your order to defeat me. And yet, they dishonored me. Denied me a warrior's death. And left me to rot in a cage for centuries. So, seems our destinies are intertwined. The demise of your order allowed me to escape. And yet, nothing has changed. You're still just Dagon's servant. Time does not diminish my loyalties. Without a code, you can only serve yourself. Where's the compass, Ravis? I owe you nothing, Jedi! If you want that knowledge from me, you're gonna have to fight for it. Very well. You're back. Take more than that. 
Hey, BD! with me. We can take on Dagon together. <laughs> I will not, Jedi. I've 
after all these centuries, I still dream of Tantalor. I had hoped to see it again, but... Oh, that is not to be. This Dagengara stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. Jedi, give me my warrior's death. Breeze, you there? Cal, I don't know what you did, but those vulture droids are making a hasty exit. The landing pad's clear. I'm gonna bring the manis in now. Copy that. I'll be waiting for you, kid. Maybe Ravis was right. Dagon abandoned the Jedi code. Now look at him. Soon by his obsession with Tantalor. I was 
that different from what we're doing? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Thanks for having my back. Blaster, better run a little faster. Go by a lone saloon. The location shattered moon. Hey, look at that. He ain't dead. How you doing, kid? Come. Whatever you did up there should kick the firebug nest. Ravis is gone. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess. Back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, jetpack. Give me a hand up here. Any sense of this place, Cal? Be careful. Not now. I need some time to think. That Latero sure knows how to cook. I'll give him that. Something about this place I just don't like. Just like you were scared of death, Amir. Oh, now hold on. That's different. We knew that planet was full of nasties. But this moon, it's the unknown that spooks me, you know? All creaking and abandoned, it's, it's too quiet. You're just superstitious. Oh, yeah? You think so, huh? Well, I was right about the witch planet. It wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad? There were zombies, Cal. Zombies. Give me a minute, huh? I'm planning a new holotactic setup. Hmm. We're Kobo bound. to clear my mind. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. I just pay attention.
the Shattered Moon, I saw Dagon confront Centauri. He was so consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his way. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. Huh. I just don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. They dreamed together and suffered together. Shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself. Yeah. A little. If you ever stray from your path, We will guide you back. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The Raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. Don't you have a mountain to climb? I gotta hand it to you, kid. Things are looking better than ever. And you wanted to sit this one out. Oh, well, count on you to prove me wrong, Cal. <laughs> when we were all ready to fold, you never stopped fighting. And we can't stop now. Yeah, I know, we still got a lot of work ahead of us. But you gotta remember to stop and appreciate how far we've come. I need a little grease time. as if things are better. Can't blame them for being glad Ravis is gone. I can and will. The Raiders are still out there causing mayhem. And even where they're gone, there's the Empire. Place one boot with another. It doesn't change anything. Always a pleasure, Moran. Anytime, Carol. Surrounded by idiots. Dull fools dancing into the jaws of oblivion. Well, not me. projection wave that came down from the moon. You know anything about that? Yeah, BD and I, we, uh, were inside the firing cylinder. Wait, what? Do you have a death wish or something? It was the only way through. You were actually inside the thermal housing? Then why weren't you cooked alive? Wait, don't tell me. 
Perhaps some sort of high propulsion shielding. Cal, did you notice any ablative coating? No, but I was a little busy at the time. Uh, of course, how silly of me. Uh, but if you go back, be on the lookout for that ablative coating. What a time to be alive. An installation that size. I gotta wonder how they aligned the optical resonator. Hey, Cal, did you hear those vulture droids screaming around the mountain? Not yet. Wait, don't tell me you're thinking of sampling them. Thinking? It's already done. Didi and I just got back. Must have been dangerous. Oh, yeah. We almost died like 10 times. But once we layered those samples over some lo-fi Trandoshan bunk, you gotta hear it to believe it. Don't forget to talk to Didi if you want to switch songs. I won't forget. I can really use a drink. Is it true? Is Ravis really gone? Yeah. You relieved? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But I'm actually sad. It almost feels like I killed him. He did try to kill you. Oh, yeah, a few times. But none of this would have happened if I wasn't trying to make a quick credit. I'm a murderer! Hey, Monk! What's it take for a frog with blood on his hands to get some service around here? <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Cal. Wherever you go, the action surely follows. Hey, you wanted customers, right? That I did. The place is packed. And if we keep going at this rate, we're gonna need a bouncer. Well, maybe Mosey's looking for some extra income. Interesting proposition. If I had to put my life in someone else's hands, it'd be Mosey's. You keep your eyes on the path ahead. Ah, it is you. A word of caution. Here we go, BD. One sun sets, another rises. Hotter, brighter, blinding. Blinding? As you said, when a sun sets, the lot wolves will always howl for its return. And who are these wolves in this vision of yours? Who, oh, indeed. He who walks with wolves is taught to howl. Rumor has it that the Gendai is dead. Is that your work, bud? And if it was? Just curious is all. So, how'd you do it? You slice off his legs? No, they would just grow back, right? Oh, you incinerated him, didn't you? I don't want to talk about it. Ah, I suppose a true professional never reveals their secrets. I must be rubbing off on you. Well, killer, here's another tip. Real pros? Fee. Don't relax too much, Cal. You may have downed a big one, but there's a lot of players in the game who still want you dead. Like what you see? Looks good to me. Walk over the huts. Go on, I'm sure you have places to be. Word is that Ravis got bumped off. Word travels fast. Sure, when there's credits to be made. Send the raiders running, and we're in business. That's right. We get back into the gorge, kickstart those dams, and we finally make some real scratch. Those dams are in rough shape. Think you're up to it? I know them like the hairs on my back. What Grok here means is we can make him sing again. Yeah, trust us. Keep up the good work, kid. Say we short the central conduit, slice it through the emergency couplings. Might be enough to get the sluice gates going. Huh. Might actually work. Cal, glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Are you sounding like a local? Oh, before I forget. I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. 
They're gonna start a hollow tactics table at Pyloons. Now we're talking. Piazza that size, well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. Do you always hunt alone? Not always. For big game, I usually bring a partner or two. Strength in numbers. That's right. In a pack, each hunter has their own role. Safer, too. We have a saying from where I'm from. A branch of a grill tree can be snapped in half, but a bundle of branches cannot. Talk soon. All right, finish this thing, will ya? I'm going, I'm going. Oi, cop! Heard you gave Ravis the sack. You know, you weren't the first to take a swing at that Gendai. Ever hear about Toll? I don't think so. Oh, real poet with a pickaxe. A while back, she comes across this load of Priorite, the biggest you ever saw. Like a sky full of grinning stars. Of course, then your Ravis shows up, built like a bloody cargo barge, and tells her to get scarce. But Toll, the old nutter, she goes and takes her plasma torch to the Gendai. Of course, poor Tall don't last ten seconds. But I guess sometimes a find like that's worth fighting for, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes the payout isn't worth the price. Uh, maybe. But it's just like the prospectors say. Better a broken pick than a rusted one. Do wish you could have met old Tall. Bit loony, but with real heart. Sounds like it. able to cook you scas steaks. Nobody asked your opinion, Calcastus. Z, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one. With a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So don't show any. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? Not now, Cal. These look interesting. I'm gonna go with this one. Excellent selection! A strong choice, certainly! Can't go wrong with this. Certainly, Cal. I'll grab this one. This reminds me of old times. So, it looks like we aren't the only ones who found romance on Kobo. What, Turgul and Two locked? I don't think that's in the stars. Come oh, now, Cal. That delightfully dark Mervon has been casting wayward glances at you. Marin? What was the look? She's a hard one to read. You, however, couldn't be more obvious. So, what are you waiting for? Good question. A lot going on right now. Okay. Don't get so caught up that you miss the small things. Because those are the things you'll remember. Ah, God. We were just discussing what we should renovate next. Just lots else to fix around here. Thanks to the raiders, you know. Yes, of course, but surely we can find something a bit more inspiring for our next project than a water pump. I'm sure you'll figure it out.
Zig's right, Cal. I spent most of my life ensnared by opulence. None. Oh, that seems very important now. Great to see you. I need to clear my mind. Let's keep moving, buddy. Come to challenge one of your fellow tacticians. It appears your strategy wasn't up to the challenge.
Fully played. Go! Oh, it never stood a chance! Fortune smiles on you. Perhaps a new stratagem is required. All our work is really paying off, BD. What do you think, BD? Here? Here's your new home. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. Healy, 
What made you stop your research? I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate, escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Oh, you're safe here. I have been told that before, but when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in their harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out, that subspecies of Puglia blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist.
We should take these seeds back to the garden. Thank you. 